So, um, yeah, it's Steam World Heist time. I was uh, not doing very well last time because I, I, I need to kind of grind out some previous missions to get some extra experience. We could do this one again. I'm pretty sure I already did that one. Um, did we do this one? Challenge mission. We could buy some weapons. Started playing Cogmine, still trying to get good at it. I don't know how to play that game. It's very different than basically any other traditional roguelike. And it's very strange. Uh, it's very good. Obviously, you know, um, the dev is very hardworking at making that game as deep as possible, but I, I, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with some, for some things. Increase health by plus one, decreases sprint distance, distance by negative one, additional tempered armor plating. Um, yeah, let's get some armor. Seems like a good idea, maybe. It costs a bit of money. I'm wondering what a good quest would be to grind on. Lots of low ladders, relieve it of swag, and thin out the scan scrapper herd while at it. The mining bots in the colony are bound to appreciate it. We could do this. I don't know, um, I guess it's like the amount of swag you collect that uh, gives you the most experience. So maybe we're better off doing like a later on mission. Filled to the brim with stolen explosives. This could be better for us. No, eliminate scrappers. I don't know if this one's actually worth it to us. We need uh, whatever gives us swag. Collect swag. Stealth is a very good way to play in that game. Also, funny enough, Melee is a very good and shooty game about robots. On Divinity Chron Chronicles, did you enjoy it? Would you say it's better than Grifflands? No, I wouldn't. I've heard um, a couple of complaints about balancing, uh, which I can't really speak to because I didn't play very much of that game. You basically saw exactly as much as I played. Um, I like it uh, as a as a not even as an alternative to Slay the Spire, but basically after you've finished playing Slay the Spire, you could play this game. You could play Chronicles uh, Journey to the West um, or Divinity Chronicles. That sounds like a slight. I don't mean it as such. I mean it that the game is very obviously, uh, to put it lightly, influenced by Slay the Spire. And I think that that is fine. But I do think that if you're going to play one or the other, you may as well play Slay the Spire. So if you've put like, you know, hundreds of hours into Slay the Spire, you may as well uh, you, you may as well try Divinity Chronicles because there's fun things about it. It's It doesn't really play like Grifflands. Grifflands is a very strange beast. I might play Grifflands on stream at some point. It seems like a good stream game. Because, uh, you know, I do want to play that one. Um, but I don't think it would make a very good series because um, the thing about deck builders is as much as there is variety in mechanics, there is not really a lot of variety in, like, I don't know, um, gameplay? Because, you know, deck builders rely a lot on just playing cards. Uh, it doesn't matter that you're playing different cards, but you're playing, <clears throat> you're playing cards. And so I think that for some people that, that can f feel boring, I don't agree. I, I think that deck builders and card games are a lot of fun. But um, I also understand being burnt out on them. But I think streaming them would be fine because basically only the people who would want to watch it uh, would could come to the stream, and it's like one of many games that I'll I'll play. Right. <clears throat> I'm gonna go here because I think there'll be less chance of them hitting me, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and guard. Grifflands is a very good game. It's also very difficult. Nice. Easy. Kill shot. Oh, we don't need to do that.
Anyway, how is everyone doing? It's Tuesday, it's stream day. I enjoy stream day. I enjoy stream day a lot, actually. Um, it, it, uh, it's a good way to, to kind of break up. I wouldn't say the monotony, but like, you know, I, I do a lot of the same a lot of the time. And stream day is a nice way to just kind of like break things up a bit. I'm not, I mean, I'm gonna play Cud and that's fine. You know, we, we, we enjoy Cud. Um, can we shoot down there? We could shoot down there. Nice, so we actually did a little bit of damage there. Incredible. Nice. Oh, but we're gonna take damage here. Yeah. It's okay, don't they have the thing that makes them do extra damage? It doesn't look like they got it. Focus? Focus ability gives you bonus damage if you stand still and attack. Nice. Have you tried Cult Simulator? I think that what it's called. Game from Sunless Sky, C Sea Sky Dev. Oh, Cultist Simulator? Yes, I have played Cultist. I had a, a brief discussion about that game with my friend the other day. Um, they have like beaten it or like played it to completion. And I do not understand that game basically at all. Um, been pretty good trying out the king. Trying out for the king recently. I like it. But not as much as Wildermyth. Out for the king. Is that what the game is called? Out for the king? I might look that up. Let me have a, let me have a quick look at that. I always, I always enjoy a recommendation, especially if it's for a game I have not heard of. And I do like Wildermyth. I, I, I plan on playing that game either on stream or uh, doing a series one day. Out for the king? Or or is it for the king? Are you trying out are you trying out for the king? Ah. I have played for the king. I don't know what to I don't really know what to make of for the king, if I'm being honest. But I understand it's you know, it scratches a tactical itch. I've been playing quite a few tactics games. I do enjoy tactics games. If they are done right. And when I say when I say what right, what I mean is that um, they have to have a certain I don't know. They can't be straight tactics for me. They have to have a, a certain amount of freedom or sandbox to them for me to enjoy them. I don't know if that's a, you know, if I'm explaining myself well, but. Played their game for five hours and still had no clue what I was doing. Are you talking, you're talking about Cultist Simulator, right? I had no idea. I have no idea how to play that game. I think, uh, I think I don't like that game. And the, and you know, the thing is, and I don't, you know, I don't like to say that generally because I, I, if I don't understand a game, I, uh, I don't like that to be a reason why I, I'm not enjoying, you know, like why I'm not playing a game or why I'm not enjoying a game. Like I don't, I, I like discovery. Discovery in games is like my favorite part about playing them. That's why I like Cud so much. But I think the thing that bothers me about Cultist Simulator is that discovering things is not very interesting to me despite the fact that I know very little about how anything works, um, I could, you know, discover something completely new and game-changing and I'd still be like, ah, but what? <laughs> I don't, is that how it works? So will these two cards work together that way, huh? All right. I don't know, it just doesn't have that kind of um, dopamine-inducing effects as like discovering a combo in in a different game i don't know why i can't really even tell you why i'm sorry oh didn't get the kill yeah <laughs> wait your coffee mug has live loot drink written in it 
Uh, the the drawing in the middle is a water skin from Caves of Cud. It's, it says live and drink, live drink, like live and drink. But I, I see now that it could be uh, misconstrued as something different. Um, that's actually really funny. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go here and we're gonna try and get this kill because they're gonna do damage to our friend here. Nice. I'm just gonna keep them up here. We only have two turns left. <clears throat> Oh, is that the end? Mm, that can't be the end. There's, There's got to be more. There's got to be more swag somewhere. Yeah, there's more swag there. Okay, that's one dead. Their focus... We're... Yeah, I guess we'll send them upstairs. I don't really want to. I kind of just want to have our uh, friend up here do this. Live loot drink is good on the mug too. <laughs> it's like, it almost feels like the complete opposite of my original intention. <laughs> yeah, live and drink. You know, uh, peace be with you. Uh, go and, and, and live and be happy. Also, you know, Die, scum. I shall... Rem shall divide you between your goods. Uh, can we... I'm kind of worried about our friend up here. Are they gonna... Are, they, are we gonna die? Oh, okay. They were kind and didn't shoot my friend up here. So I'm gonna make... Get him down there. We're gonna shoot up here oh did we not we didn't hit at all okay all right there's another one coming it's that water ritual from cud right yeah it is share a dram of water or loot that is the question hmm Not feeling too good about this move over here, but I'm gonna do it. They're probably gonna take some damage. They might not die. If they had made that shot, they probably would die. Oh no, it's only one damage. Okay, we're good. Oh, what? We missed some swag? Damn it. I, I gotta leave. I found out that if you talk with birds and cud, they spout random jumble of cud words at you. Do they? Live and drink nonsense bird. Well, no one died, so that's valuable. Our friend here is leveled up. What do they get? Payback. Become enraged when taking damage. When enraged, their next attack will deal 2 plus 2 dam uh, bonus damage. Nice. Oh, they get more health. Awesome. Yeah, she's uh, she's got some really good chops. Uh, oh, we uh, we can talk to our friend here. Ivanski has been helping Seabrass getting uh, salty joints moving again. A well-trimmed body will give better mood to sulky Seabot, yes? That's nice of you, Bogdan. We could really use some cheering up. Ah. Um, we're gonna do a couple more grind sessions. Also... Uh, we can just do the same one again. Uh, we'll do that one again, and then uh, n n not again after that. So I actually think that we should give the armor 
to this guy since he has the most health and now he has that rage ability we we actually want them to take damage so they're going to be our tank and then her we want her to move around a bit because she's going to do more damage if she gets kills. Um, so we're going to want her to have some extra health. I mean, I don't think this is like ideal, but it's at least something. So I've got some uh, interesting Let's Tries coming up for some different games. Some board games. Uh, not like real life board games, but digital board games. Um, also some games that uh, I've been provided with keys for because uh, you know as as some of you know I've had some weird person in impersonating me for keys that's been very strange and surreal um, so yeah you know it's been it's been uh, a, a, an interesting like month um, but ultimately positive I think Did you ever hear of Battle Bands? It's a new roguelike on Steam. I just bought it and find it kind of... Is that out? That's the that's the deck building game about... Um, about... Like... Uh, managing a band, right? Battle Bands. A rock and roll deck builder. Yeah, I did hear about this one. Is this the one... There's like two of these coming out. Is this the one with the good music? There's two of these coming out, and one of them really struck me as having, like, excellent music. Yeah, this one this one seems to have, like, really interesting music in it. Um, yeah, I was interested in this. Sorry, when I alt-tab, apparently it, like, zooms off field there. Okay, we'll get her to finish the job. Oh, we can't. Never mind. Yeah, this is very difficult for him to not take that hit. Honestly, okay, let's have him finish this guy off. And then we're gonna open some doors. Wow, his movement is like really slow now. Oh, there's nothing in there. Okay, interesting. This guy needs to heal up. An another deck builder. How how exist? Uh, exciting. I'm sorry. I'm really bound burn on on them. I uh, I don't blame you at all. Um, there's been a lot of deck builders lately. Uh, for the, like the last I'd say decade since basically Dominion came out. Um. There's been a lot of deck builders. Some of them are very good. Some of them are basically the same format again. Um, I don't think there's necessarily doing anything, doing something that is like derivative, but it definitely doesn't inspire you. And it doesn't, you know, make you want to play more of the same kind of genre. Um, you know, we, I think we experienced something similar with like Minecraft-y kind of games. If that makes sense. Like, we we had a lot of games that felt very similar to Minecraft. Oh, that was not good. He, she's going to get hit there. Damn it. What? Okay, weird. Um... I mean, I will cover deck builders because I do like them. And, uh, you know, I, I, I find them compelling, but I definitely find some compelling more than others. We don't need to do a kill shot. So, you know, I don't know. I really like it's it's a weird topic, to be honest, because it's like. I don't like talking shit about people's games. You know, they work hard on something. And, uh, you know, obviously they're, they, they find the genre inspiring and they want to make the game. 
I don't know how uh, Battle Bands plays, so it could be very novel. Uh, I'm willing to try it. And that's what I like about Let's Try, is like, you know, let's, let's see if it's any good. I feel good about the fact that there are a lot of new deck builders in the market, that way you can find one that suits you the most, since there's always that bit that catches you. That's an interesting idea. Um, you know, here's the thing. Uh, is Have you seen that comic or like the, the meme that's like what people think is happening and it's like, um, and it's like someone eating a cake, right? And say, like, oh, this cake is better than that cake. And then in reality, someone's saying, oh boy, two cakes, right? I kind of disagree. I disagree with that idea because you can have too much cake you know <laughs> there can just like straight up be <clears throat> too much cake and you can have just too much of a good thing okay this is a uh, this is not bad we could or sorry this is not good we could we could lose our friend here um i think that there have been too many or not too many just a lot of deck builders that have not innovated very much on the format and at a certain point you can get a little bit fatigued with it and and then there are people who are like fatigued with the entire genre because it's like well this is going to be the same thing again even if it's not the same thing again you know i think that eventually you can get you can get like permanently burnt out on a good on a good thing um And that's rough. I don't know. I don't know if there's any way to fix that. I would say, for my own sake, for, you know, for my my own position, I am, I'm burnt out on, not on deck builders, but on generic deck builders, ones that do not innovate. Oh my god, really? She, he, re are we really losing this bot? Wow, that was really nasty. They both went for her. Okay, well, I guess it's it's worth finishing this, but that means she's not going to get XP. Can we do a bounce and then hit them in the head? Uh, I was hoping to hit them both. All right. I swear, if this guy goes for him as well, okay. Uh, the other deck builder rock game, Power Chord, right? I'm also following that game, what it, waiting for its release. That will be a great game for you. Well, like, it's interesting to me that there's two, there's two music, like band-based deck builder games coming out, like almost in tandem. I'm looking at, I am following the other one. The other one looks interesting as well got a really good art style i really really do appreciate the art style and it has a demo we can honestly i, I could check it out oh my god i'm like way out my field again um can we just kill this guy yes It'd be really fun if i could like bounce this somehow Oh, I did actually hit him. That was nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, like, different strokes, I guess. Some people are going to feel more burnt out than others. Uh, I think that if a game doesn't, like, innovate a little bit, then I, I'm probably not going to be as interested in playing it because, you know, I'm not interested in playing a game I've already played. Um... I like I like I I liked I played a lot of Slay the Spire and I really enjoyed it and then I played a lot of Monster Train because I it was it was different it was different enough and uh, I really really enjoyed it um, but like you know not everyone's gonna feel the same about like card games because you know they do all tend to look like similar you you are usually playing cards. Oh, wow. That was quite the shot. We should be able to kill this guy, no problem. Because of our focus.
Um, why are you going up? That's weird. Oh my god, that was quite the shot. We should be able to hit them. And we'll do six damage. Yeah, oh, or just four. And that, that works too. Finished my first game of Cud right after you finished your last stream. Pretty excited where Caves of Cud will take us in the future. Same. I am I'm interested to see where they go uh, with it. I have a funny feeling the deep jungle and maybe even some of the uh, some of the historic sites might become like important. Like important in the way that you actually have to complete them. You can't just um, you can't just like uh, you know do them for fun or for profit. You uh, they become part of the storyline. Just a theory. I don't know if that's going to be true. Um, yeah, I, I'm very curious to see where they go with, with the whole thing. I would like to... So, uh, for anyone that doesn't know, the uh, the last episode of my current major Caves of Cud series went up. Um, and it's it was the first time I had beaten Caves of Cud. Is this guy going to die? I swear. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get over. Oh, yeah, perfect. No, no, no. Okay, well, we should be able to kill them. And then with the payback, I should be able to kill this guy. Oh, no! I can't believe it. The little, just one tick of damage was enough. The friendly fire radius screwed us real good. Hey, Zoctan, how are you doing? I just had, like, the one of the worst things happen <laughs> in this game. I was one turn away from winning, and, and then we lost our other robot. <sighs> oh, gold. Oh wow, that's worth a lot. And what is this, body parts? Oh, won't get experience points and earned star reputation is reduced. Valentine's old joints will be reassembled. Okay. Um, Sell two items. We gotta sell the bars. Kinda wanna sell the grenade. Kinda wanna sell this. This isn't gonna be that. We can buy some new, um, do we earn more stars? I don't think we do, right? Oh, he would have leveled up. How is the replayability in Steam World Heist? Well, I would say not very high because I'm already have being like, I, I'm already having to replay some of the old missions in order to grind my, uh, my robots up a bit. So it really depends on like, do you think I guess you could like get different robots the second time through. There is a DLC. I thought about buying it. It's got some like weirdo character in it. Would have gone a lot quicker if she'd only stopped squirming about, ma'am. Next time, start with my arms first. I can do the rest myself. I bet. Um. So I don't know replayability I'm, i mean i it would be like i would enjoy this game again i just don't know if there's a lot of different stuff that you would experience if you would be ever be interested in a modded playthrough i would recommend waiting for tycho's tangent being replayable again it's most amazing mod out there is that the one that makes um like psi blades a thing uh like um psychic weapons because that that is very good or psychic arms i can't remember so there's like one that adds psychic uh weapons and then there's ones that add like um extra arms as a as a mental mutation which i thought was really neat uh i'm gonna go and buy another weapon or some equipment
<clears throat> I do plan, uh, because I am enjoying this game a lot, I do plan on eventually playing the Hand of Gil Gilgamesh. I've been calling it Gilgamesh, but it's actually a play on words and Hand of Gilgamesh. Um, short range spreader of projectile fun with multiple bites. This will surely leave teeth marks. I don't know if I if that's any better than some of the other stuff I've already taken. Is this guy worth talking to? Oh, we can't talk to him. Okay. So we should try the other uh, other equipment place. Because I have a lot of money and I, I would like to spend it. I would like to buy like maybe a rocket launcher or something for uh, for Ivankov or whatever his name is. I'm very bad with names, sorry. Um, is there no other equipment place? I guess this is it, huh? Yeah, like, I would like to buy this. That would be very good for us. Because we need a weapon. The, the, the dude has been using a stock standard grenade launcher this whole time. We can't buy it? Why? Because our inventory is full? How do we sell? Can we talk to this guy to sell? How does one sell our equipment? Inventory. Items. Oh, we can, we can sell them just from here, okay. Okay, let's buy this item. Big Bang. It's safe to say that the world wouldn't be the same without it. Relatively speaking, it expands on you. Interesting. I kinda, if I could afford it, I would also like to buy this machine gun. I can afford it. Basic and handy rapid assault gun. Perfect for mobile raids and looting in a hurry. And I wonder, is this better than what I'm currently using on, uh, what's her name? Sally? Yeah, this is it. Carry on Uzi. Four damage plus two critical versus what? Five damage. It is better. I would, uh, I, I a hundred percent would be interested in doing modded Caves of Cud. Um, I still want to get a classic win before I, you know, consider doing that. I think that that, you know, people, I think people want that. I don't know. I'm kind of surprised that, uh, my classic playthrough hasn't really been doing very well in terms of numbers because like, I don't, I, I, I like, it's hard to read into things, but I thought that people maybe were... I guess it's easy to read into things is what I meant to say. But, like, it's easy to, to think that people are going to be disappointed that the main series became uh, almost roleplay mode. Adds a lot of stuff in almost everything. Also as a city of unique pair... Nine pair sayings. Residential areas, shops, factory, and other stuff. Most important that there is a whole dungeon. Wow. That is a lot of stuff. Wait, don't we need the captain for this? Let's uh let's bring the captain along. Oh, she doesn't have a gun. Could do a dick Deceaser. Chambered for chambered for a multi-caliber maim of any aggression. Aggressor, sorry. And it cripples. Alright, let's do this. Has at least one available what? Oh. We will give her a grenade. No, we'll yeah, we'll give her a grenade. Yeah, I'd be interested in doing modded Caves of Code for sure. I've been holding back on that because, uh, you know, I wanted to kind of get the most out of vanilla. Especially for, like, some of my series. The alarm countdown is already active. You can tell that turrets will... Oh, yeah, the turrets. This this uh, level sucks. Kind of... I kind of dis dislike it. <laughs> Doesn't Piper have the shoes? 
Does she not have the shoes? I guess someone else is using the shoes. It's ruined skyscrapers. Oh, one floors are safe and lived in, but top floors are infested with all nasty stuff and mostly seekers of sightless way. Oh, I can't stand that. I don't like that. Um, how do we deal with this situation? I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna try and kill this guy here. Why can't I fire on them? Weird. Um, so I can't hit these guys at all. Wish I could have undone uh, that last move. So I'm gonna have them back up. Get in there and we're gonna see if we can't uh, I, I have an idea. Let's let's do a little bit of damage. I'm gonna ricochet this shot off the, the barrel. And then we're gonna move, um, what's her name? I don't know, doesn't tell me her name. <laughs> her in, she's gonna get the kill. Why can't she get the shot? That's so annoying. <laughs> okay, there we go, she got the shot. And then um, and then she can shoot something else, I guess. She got rid of that barrel, which is good because it, well, I guess it's bad because uh, it might have served us. So we're going to get her to come behind and then do some nice damage. Um, we need Piper to back up a bit. Oh, this is this is awful. I this this level sucks. I'm gonna have her back up a little bit, like here, and throw a grenade. Maybe there's no good place to throw a grenade here. They're all spread out, so I'm gonna have a, her throw a grenade over here. And then we're going to try and kill this guy here. Okay, apparently we can't do that. Oh no, that's a waste of turn. I really wish I could undo certain things. It's, it's kind of brutal when you like completely waste a turn. Oh, that's, this is no good at all. All right, that's that's that. Uh, I'd like to hit this barrel. And then also move if I could. Nope, moving is not in the cards. If I could move here and shoot, that'd be good. Also seems to be like a dungeon down too, but it's way too scary and deadly for me to explore right now. Ah. Okay, he he spent a turn mending. That's actually really good for us. Okay, Piper needs to back up. This is really going badly right now. I'm gonna have her back up oh, like a lot. She can come back after she heals. Maybe we can get a shot off here, but I kind of doubt it. Maybe I can bounce a shot like this. Well, it was a good try, but no. That's something.
Man, this guy's movement is, like, awful. Okay, we should be able to do something good here. Oh, that was very good. Piper, she has a great angle on them. Unfortunately, she just needs to heal up. Maybe we can get lucky with this. If I can get this kill here... Nope. That's really bad. I miss playing Worms. Worms was a great game. I love Worms. Yeah, Worms, Worms is an excellent game. I kind of, um, I'm, I'm kind of sad about what happened to Worms in a way. Like, I don't know what it is about it, but it's like, they, it just ha seems to have a very rough time of dev right now. Okay, we get a kill shot, but it's not really worth it to us. We have two turns left, which is really unfortunate because we can't really do anything with that. I'm thinking we can maybe make some miracles happen here. Oh, what? Oh my god, and I even hit my teammate. I thought it would explode on contact, but nope. So next turn we're getting turrets. That's gonna be fun. All right. Wouldn't mind getting that hat. I need to make my way towards like something tangible. Also, I need to pick up some of the swag. Okay, so I need to like ping this right in front of the guy. Yeah, that's not going to do it. I actually did damage to myself. That's incredible. Hey, Luke. How are you doing? Playing more steampunk robots in space? You know it. Okay, she should be able to hit him pretty good from here. Unfortunately, that means he can come down and hit her. This uh, this mission is still bad. Even if I made like the most perfect shot here, it's going to it's going to hurt Piper. There's no way that I can I can actually do this. I mean, I'll try it, but Oh my god, I think that actually worked out. We need to get towards this door over here. I have to collect two of six swag. Wow, I have been not picking up the swag. Wow. So she lost her hat. It'd be really nice if that had killed. If I could get in this room, that would be... Oh my god. <laughs> if I could kill this guy and kill the second guy, that would be amazing. Holy, that actually was incredible. So I, I just need to make a miracle shot here. Oh my god! I can't believe that actually worked out. Uh, Piper's gonna die. She's dead, and that's game over. This mission uh, is bad. I actually hate it. <laughs> I guess the, the mission's not over yet. Okay. I hate this mission all the same. <laughs> I need to. I need to try and 
kill this turret before I collect anything. Okay, good. Is there another turret I could aim for? No, that'll just get rid of that barrel, and that barrel's actually protecting us. So I'm gonna not use it. Um... There's a barrel in our way here. So I need to move into, at, like out of safety. Okay, fortunately we can take out a turret with one turn. There's a lot of barrels and they're doing the Lord's work here. I need to collect that um, swag. So I'm gonna have to try and take out this turret. There we go. Now we're free to take pick up this stuff. Uh, do you plan on doing another tutorial series for a different game than Cud? I love the format of your Cud tutorial series. It would have to be a game that I both really enjoy and also is very... It doesn't have a filled niche of tutorialism. And that's a pretty specific game. Um, I think that like some, maybe something like Door Fortress would fill that niche. But like then again, there's already tutorialism for... Uh, door fortress like a lot of people have covered it so I'm not sure what that would look like it also has to be a game I, I feel like very strongly about like that I, I really enjoy um, so I don't know like a lot of the pieces kind of fell in the place for cud and um, you know it was it was just very kind of fortunate that it happened that way okay we need to take out that turret I might be able to take it out with the other character but I don't I don't know is it wrong wait so what kind of weapons have you got now rather than pistols fires and rifles and shotguns I got grenade launchers uh, submachine guns and I still have like kind of a sniper gun for Piper I have upgraded pretty much everyone's weaponry. Keep almost pressing F instead of control. There we go. So that's the last turret out of the way. Is it wrong to be hyped about what game could be, but not about what game it is, it is right now? I'm talking about Stone Shard. Game has so much potential, yet so many bad game design parts. I'll be honest. Uh, let me let me be sp spicy for a moment. I'm gonna. This is gonna be your your uh, weekly spicy big simple moment. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I did not do that clearing my throat for effect. I promise. <laughs> um, I think that the most damning thing you can say about a game right now is that it has potential. I I cannot stand games with potential. Um, I I much prefer games that are like good in its in each each stage like here's the thing you know i there are definitely examples of games that live up to their potential i think like like maybe no man's sky is an example of that but then again i still don't like no man's sky you know like so it's still a game with potential and it's always going to be a game with potential to me anyway oh new really cool gun um I think that, uh, you know, like, for example, Kerbal Space Program was a game with potential, but it was always very engaging. And it, I always connected with it, you know, I always had felt some kind of connection with it. Um, and so I didn't feel like, man, I can't like, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to what this game becomes, but also I am enjoying it now. Um, I don't like the idea of a game having potential as a saving grace like it's not good now but it could be something tomorrow i don't think i care because there's uh, like a lot of games and a lot of them are worth playing now and specifically for stone shard yeah i definitely see the potential in that game but i also see that that game taking like actual years to become a game i would actually enjoy playing so I'm not as interested in it as is in a game that I enjoy now. Like, you know, Jupiter Hell was an amazing game pretty much at every stage. Like, it was always fun. 
And so I'm much more interested in a game like that. You could take a couple of early access games that you enjoy and start from there. Most EA roguelikes I find have no tutorial at all. Um, the other thing I was going to say is that um, there are many, many more examples of games that had potential that did not live up to that potential than there are examples of games that had potential and did live up to that potential. And I think that that is just because sometimes it is very difficult to live up to the expectations of the player, uh, as well as I think it's very difficult to um, kind of make a good game. Like, it really just needs to be said very plain-faced. It's very difficult to make a good game. <laughs> like, it's a such a nebulous concept. It is so... There's so many working parts. There's so many things that can go wrong. It could not work properly. The mechanics could not mesh properly. The, maybe the aesthetic is ugly. Maybe it doesn't have good music. I've honestly had played games that I've really enjoyed and I would stop playing them because I didn't enjoy the music. Maybe there's no accessibility options. Like there's so many things that can go wrong. And so I'm not, you know, it, it, it's, it's really difficult to be excited about, about a game that has potential because it's just like, yeah, but uh, that's really all it has right now. That's the most damning thing I'll say. I think you would enjoy Kenshi. It's a really good game. I have played Kenshi and I do really like it and I would like to play it again, either as a series or for stream. Um, but I have to figure out how I'm going to do that. I have to figure out, first of all, like, I don't know. If you've been play paying very close attention to my channel, and I don't expect that you should or do, um, but if you have, uh, like, I'll throw things against the wall. Like, I'll do a series. Did we not get our hat back? Is that hat gone forever? Um, I'll, I'll do a series or I'll start a series, and if I notice that it's not getting views, then I will just end that series. And I used to feel bad about that, but like, I, you know, as much as I am doing, in a way, this is very much related to the whole games with potential conversation, because it's like a series has potential to be popular or has potential to have views. But if that's the case, um, you know, why not just do th something I know that people are going to enjoy rather than something that um, people have to like, you know, they're watching because they support me rather than because they enjoy the thing itself, you know? I'm sure, almost sure Kenshi is not a live kind of game. Yeah, and that's a, like Kenshi, there's a lot of downtime. You're doing a lot of kind of waiting for stuff. And that's what worries me about doing a series for it is that I, I figure as much as people enjoy Kenshi, it might not be a very fun game to watch. Um. So unfortunately, since we lost Piper, we didn't get our third star on that. That means I'm going to have to do that game, that, that mission again. I would really like to do Kenshi, but I would have to know that there's an audience for that. And I know that sucks to hear. It sucks to say that. I don't like saying that because it um, reveals a little bit of pragmatism when it comes to running a channel. Um, I, I do this for fun. Um, but I also do this because I hope to turn it into something meaningful. And that meaning has to unfortunately come from me exploiting the algorithm, uh, me, you know, trying to hit the, 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 the big number, get, make the, make the number, the big number, you know, get the views up, get them, get them numbers up and it sucks. Um, and I really don't like that, uh, that, that pragmatism has to exist, but, um, like, I say it a lot, but if I know that there's call for something, I will do it. I don't do anything on the channel that I don't enjoy. I enjoy a lot of huge variety of things. And so I may as well do the thing that I know that you're going to enjoy watching. So I guess what I'm saying is if I did a couple of episodes of Kenshi and you want more of it, just you just got to watch it. <laughs> I don't know. There's no way to win here because like it has to have numbers and that means a lot of people have to find it enjoyable, not just like a few people. 
Maybe when your channel gets big enough, you can start doing passion games. I mean, I'm gonna do passion games occasionally, you know? Like, I don't want it to sound like I'm completely pragmatic. I did Druidstone knowing full well it was not going to do well. It didn't do well, and I still finished it. And and I don't regret that. It's a, It was fantastic. I enjoyed the, the heck out of Druidstone. Um, is there something else I could shoot at? Mm, may as well try and make this shot. Okay, we got two hits. That's good enough. My main beef with Stone Shard is stupid amount of time which takes you to get from one point to another. Game would be so much better with like a scroll or return to city. Uh, yes. It would also do well to have a kind of overworld like Cud does. Not to say they should just rip that mechanic off, but I honestly think they should. <laughs> if I'm gonna say it, I might as well say it. Um, I, I really, yeah, it takes a long time to get places. Um, I don't find wandering around in the wilderness to be particularly engaging. Um, especially when like a single encounter can be your death. Um, there's a lot of things that need to be worked out in that game. Oh! Oh, that was bad. I was trying so hard not to get it to ping back at us, and of course I messed it up. Chad? <laughs> Chad? What, what happened? It's okay, Big Simple. Bimple! Yo, Bimple! Chad Bimpleton. Just call me Chad Bimpleton. The man with the plan. Man who's gonna make the tutorial on the game with 100 player base. Tell you what, um, you know, I'm always interested in this, no promises, but I, uh, like, for those who do uh, watch my stuff and channel, I know this is self-aggrandizing or even self, uh, what's the word? Self-centered. Um, throw out some games that you would like to see me do series on. I'm interested. Like, you know, I've been honestly struggling to think of like what I'd like to do next. And I've honestly been thinking of like doing some weirdo stuff, like even some visual novels. Um, cause I would like to shake things up a bit. Um, like recently I found the most popularity with Stacklands. Um, but I can't plan for things like that. Like that was very much a, a bolt of lightning, you know? Sig Bimple. Live and drinkle. <laughs> <laughs> Dive and Linkle. <laughs> the chat has lost its mind. Oh, I forgot about the inspiration bonus. What the heck is that? Chad Bimpleton. This is uh, ill advised. I had a funny feeling that guy was going to explode. It's fine. Even okay, even if the game the game like I, I uh you know, on the suggestion of like uh, on, on the topic of like suggest a game you'd like to see me play even if it's just Kenshi again I, I don't mind like uh, I'm interested in what people would want inspired uh, uh let's just end it here excuse me can I can I no there we go Sally Dry me with a blowtorch. How did you get past all my chums? Production must have been sl mustn't slow down because of some prying cowbots. Luckily, I just shipped a full batch of turrets. Speaking of which, have a free sample of my scrapsmanship. 
activate the turrets. Uh, more turrets, huh? No. Please. Oh my god, there's so many. Uh, I think you can do a lot more view if you focus on early access, just released kind of games, but that's expensive and not that healthy. Very interested in Wildermyth, Project Zomboid, and Modded Cud. Uh, let me, I'm actually going to write this down. And making notes. No. I don't have scrap paper. Oh wait, yes I do. Here's some scrap paper. Okay. Um, Space Station 13, that's interesting. Welder Myth, Project Zomboid. I do have Project Zomboid and I did plan on doing a series on it. Started following you because of Jupiter Hell. Any interest in going back to that? Yes. Um, modded cud. Wildermyth is a good call. Really like exploration type games and top down views. I would recommend Space Station 13, but role playing is a different experience from Gravity. The Space Station 13, is that not just Among Us with extra steps? It's the only thing that worries me about that one. Um, let's see if we can't kill this robot here. Nice. And then we can get another shot on the big boss. Nice. And I'm gonna let this guy take a bit of damage. And we're gonna go ahead and hit this guy in the face. And then we'll do our last shot. That's the boss dead. Evacuate. Oh, yeah, saw this coming. Do they get to shoot? No, they don't get to shoot. Good. Okay. Um, <laughs> you triggered me so much right now, You're yet you speak the truth. What's that, uh, what's that meme with, uh, Eric Andre? It's like, why would you say something so, so unpopular, yet so brave? <laughs> uh, forgot the stream was today. Nice, more SteamWorld heist. Awesome. I love how the angry Big Simple looks froggy. <laughs> the chill Big Simple is the best. Thank you. All right, here you go. Back to, back to Big Simple. There you go. That's the... That's the good simple. Um, do we only have six? We have six turns to get back. That's fine. That should be more than enough time. If you're just joining the stream, I've asked, uh, for fun, I guess, uh, what kind of games you'd like me to do series on. I've gotten Wildermyth as, uh, an option. Which I think is a, is a good ch choice. As well as Project Zomboid. I understand Project Zomboid. That one makes sense to me. Not that the other choices don't make sense. Also, Kenshi was like uh, on, on offer. Wow. Took damage all the way from there. Huh? Actually, let's get Sally to move up. Because then maybe she can hit more than one. She can definitely kill this thing. Nice. And then she could possibly kill another one. Yes. Might be able to take out one more if I get a very lucky shot. <clears throat> nice. Excellent. That's all the turrets done. 
So are you technically a VTuber? Technically, I'm a ping tuber. PNG tuber. That's the actual term. But I don't know if ping tuber falls under the classification of VTuber. I mean, I am virtual. But I am also, you know, I'm, I'm real. I swear. I swear is easy. <laughs> Oh, the freaking walls are in the way. Can I make a crazy shot from there, do you think? Maybe? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. I enjoyed that. Nice. We got rid of all the turrets. Is this a replay or a new mission? This is a new mission. I uh, I completed that really annoying mission and I have to do it again because Piper died. I didn't get three stars. Yes, I am anal and completionist. No! Oh my god. It was right next to it. Have you tried Morrowind? It's the third game in the Elder Scrolls series. Pretty different experience from... Skyrim. I have tried Morrowind. I had a mixed experience with it. it. It's an interesting game. Ooh, what the heck is this? All your standard ranged attacks deal plus one bonus damage. Oh, that's really cool. Um, I had a mixed experience with it because, like, it's a game that makes you think that it has, like, first-person combat or real-time combat, yet all of the combat is still up to, like, dice rolls and number crunching. And uh, it can give you this very weird idea of how things work. I don't know how to put it. Um, I, I think I like it, but I, I guess I could get into it. It's not a very... I know that's not a very uh, maybe positive in, uh, impression. Should I have been using this? This is 5-6, this is 5-6. What's the difference? Are these the same weapon? Is this a shotgun? What is this? Damage area large. This is damage area medium. It might actually be better for us. I don't know. I don't know. I'll sell a Frontier SMG. Have you heard of the High Elves? Have you heard of the High Elves? I have indeed heard of the High Elves. Power shot cooldown. Power shot cooldown time is reduced by one turn. That's nice. I like uh, I like our team setup right now. Dang, we couldn't foil their supply of turrets completely. What do you mean? I killed everyone. At least we now have fewer scrappers to worry about. We're close to uh, we're close to that brutal crusher that's got Taps contacts shivering in their hideouts. Ah, then let's shiver this timber instead. All right. All right. Let's do one more mission and then maybe I'll switch to code. I really enjoy roguelikes with relics that add a new layer of mechanic to the game. What's the game that you think about when you hear this and why is it Slay the Spire? I think of, uh, actually, what was that star game? Infinite, uh, Approaching Infinity. Approaching Infinity. I, I think of Approaching Infinity because that game is all about its relics. So this one, do I have to have four members for this one? No, only three. All right, let's try this mission. Gather outside the bridge, eliminate the crusher, evacuate. This one's gonna be tough. We should be able to do it though. Aside from Keizo Code, which you helped me get into, uh, that's awesome. I'm also into Atom RPG and Underrail. Oh yes, um, I had someone last week recommending Underrail to me. Was that you? Uh, I did actually look into it and I would be open to trying it. I also did look into Atom RPG it does look very good. I know it's also quite hardcore.
Uh, I'm gonna chance not getting behind cover because I might be able to do some damage here. Ooh, we got a kill and I did a bunch of damage to uh, at least one other member. We are actually, I am gonna get Piper up there with some uh, cover. Same for Sally. Actually, I'm gonna get S Sally to go behind Piper because we have good cover here and they'll get the inspiration bonus. My rat says hi again. Whenever you say that, I just think of the one of my favorite YouTubers or Let's Players. Someone said, my my rat says hi, and he just goes, <laughs> just makes a raptor sound. All right. Oh, we, the cover is in effect for us there. Okay, that's bad. All right, let's get them to go up front, and then we're gonna have Piper move, and then she's gonna get the inspiration bonus. She should be able to. She should be able to kill both of these guys here. Perfect. Um, I'll move him up, but I don't think that there's really anything he can do right now. Underreal is big, brutal, unforgiving, and brilliant, but still, it's a big game. Okay. I, uh, yeah, I'd be, I'd be down to do Underreal. I don't own it. I'd have to, I'd have to pick it up. So maybe at a sale? I, I, I'm sorry, I have to take advantage of sales. I feel bad about that now. Oh, that was good. I'm, I'm like, like even with the meager uh, sub count I have, and I mean I don't, don't think I don't take it, like I don't take it for granted, but, you know, it's I'm in, uh, I'm in growing pains right now, where it's like I'm, I'm like right on the cusp of like maybe, um, having some clout, so I can, I can like, talk to a, a, a studio and then maybe ask for a game and and they'll say yeah, maybe. Or at least they won't ghost me. <laughs> oh, I need to get that swag back there. Is that worth going back for, you think? I feel like it's not worth going back. We do have to evacuate. I could pick it up on the way back. Adam RPG and Unreal are both really awesome. Isometric RPGs and are both hardcore. They're both sort of Eastern European former Soviet bloc games, so their writing is interesting but hilarious. Yeah, I mean, they, they sound really cool. I also, uh, I will say this, I kind of want to do a Stalker series. I feel like that would be fun. Oh, I, I fat finger clicked that one. Become the swag lord, get the swag. Simply fix that email problem is using a signature. That way the scammer will get caught soon. Well, I let people know on Twitter and I put made my uh, actual email publicly available. And that seems to, I seem to be getting a lot more like emails from devs saying like, hey, thanks for doing that. Cause we were gonna hand out a key, but we didn't. So I think that uh, the scammer is like not, not getting too successful. Also, this is apparently a thing that happens uh, you know, I wouldn't say often, but it happens. So, um, you know, people are a little bit wise to it. And so they're not really getting much. Unfortunately, I mean, the thing that really sucks is that, uh, probably the people who are getting scammed the most or most likely to get successfully scammed are the ones who are just kind of getting started and have the most to lose is my theory and that really sucks i just i don't know i, I find that kind of disgusting to be honest stalker is fantastic kind of older so some minor modding can help but still great games at least the first one and call of pripyat yeah call of pripyat is the one i'm kind of looking forward to because it's i know it's a bit more sandbox and open world There's a lot of doors here. I'm wondering if I should explore these before going for these ones.
One of the Adam devs is my friend. Yo. <laughs> oh no, Bib Bimple, don't shoot them. <laughs> Bib Bimple. We're just gonna like, I like the uh, let's just bastardize my brand as much as possible. Yeah, ruin that brand. I don't know. Zilch Bimple. Z um, crimple? Oh no, actually, I don't like that one. I'm not Crimple, I'm sorry. I'm not Crimplin'. Kill shot. You think we could get a shot here? We could get some, some kill? Nope. That's a big no. You silly goose, there was a thing in the way. Sandboxes. I do enjoy a good old sandbox. I do like playing in the sand, if you know what I mean. Sand is fun. All right, y'all. Here's the big question. All right, the big question. <laughs> Are we getting, I'm getting, I'm like, I'm doing some like pretty wild callbacks right now. Um, did anyone watch my <laughs> celebratory 1,000 sub count celebratory, like celebratory uh, Guild Wars <laughs> video? <laughs> that was like six months ago now. Nice. Because I kind of want to do a follow-up of something else for 2,000 subs. And I'm thinking it's Minecraft. <laughs> I think we got to do some, we got to do some Minecraft. I'm a new fan trying to catch up with some of those. I think so. It's been a while. <laughs> I was thinking maybe, maybe some Minecraft? Okay. Kill shot. A lazy classic series that death in Bethesda Susa was rough. That was so rough. You know, sometimes Caves of Cud gets moody. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's just like, I don't wanna. No. It just, you know, it gets in a funk. And it gets belligerent. And that was one of those days. Caves of Cud got belligerent and nasty. And and it was just not having it. Not giving me, cutting me any slack. Was, no. And. And that, uh, that was, that was rough. All right, we should be good to go for the next part of this mission. Oh, I'll be darned. Walking smorgasbord board, sorry. Uh, fresh parts for the grinder, and I just got this new cowbot, cowbot arm and all. Wow, look at that thing. I'll scrap you, and your ma will use her awesome techno, tech, wait. Oh, and our ma will use her awesome techromantic uh, mantic powers to raise you back to a new life. Oh, I get it, techromantic. Like, like necromantic. I, I get it. In a far, in a better far, form than before. Part of our family, an army of scrappers to rule the waters of the water, of the world. Uh, come on, cousin. Let's. Yeah, I'm. I'm not good at reading today. We will see who is puny. It. It looked at this turret as if there was going to be a turret, and I don't like that. Okay, we should be able to do some really good stuff here. This will do a lot of damage to everything. Well, maybe not, actually. That was not nearly what I was hoping for. Oh, I was really hoping that it would catch the range there. Um, we should be good. He... Actually, that was probably not smart. Because I think I'm not going to be able to reach this guy now. Okay, okay. Nice. And we'll get some damage on the boss. Actually, I think it would be better if I ricocheted it off of here. What? Does it not ricochet? Dang. 
Dang. I really like this guy. This, uh, oh, wait a minute. Never mind. We don't want to do that. I'm going to have to ricochet it off to the ceiling. Uh, I mean, that wasn't what I wanted, but it's something. That was, it wasn't bad. Okay, that's fine. She, Sally can take it out and then get the kill shot. I really want that boss hat. Oh, that's going to be so good. Um, dupe multiplayer tutorial 100% works all servers. <laughs> hey, a, uh, a parody tutorial wouldn't be a bad idea. I kind of dig that. Wow. Nice. Excellent. Oh, damn. I, I thought we were going to evacuate, like, way back in the first room, so I'm not going to get that swag. I should have got the swag. You're right. You're right, Kevbo. I should have got the swag. Uh, simply big. Hat caught the hit that would have landed. Look at that, we got our... Look at that sweet hat we just got. If you're ever going to do modded cut, please do it with Tycho's Tangent. I will definitely do Tycho's Tangent, for sure. I'm going to try and mod cut until it crashes. Crash cud, that's what we'll call it. Biggest Simplest. Uh, after TF2 started sucking, this game helped me through my crippling hat addiction with trolls. They're both great hat-based shooters. It's funny you should say that. I recently kind of got back into TF2 for a little bit. Not a lot. Just a tiny bit. Um... And, uh, wow, that game has not aged well, in my opinion. Oh, nice. Short range spreader for projectile fun. Impressive hat generating glances of awe from those less experienced. They don't hand out these on a whim, so wares are probably rugged veterans. 1,004 mods loaded. These medium-sized bronze plates are corroded and chipped, but still better than nothing, eh? Mmm, I think it is actually not better than nothing. Goodbye. I'm also gonna get rid of the shotgun. We've got tons of money. I could probably buy something new if we get a- Wait, oh, I didn't get all the swag! I didn't get all the swag! No! I missed it. No. Oh, that's that's such a bummer. Don't you ever have that be bad feeling about sandbox where there is too much liberty and you feel lack of motivation to continue? Yes. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, uh, I think a game that relies entirely on. Um, it's sandbox novelty to be fun isn't actually very interesting to me. Um, I don't like having to make my own fun. I like the game to give me interesting choices, but allow me the freedom to make those choices. Add to action. Ivansky becomes invulnerable for one turn. Ooh. That's free action. Sally may trigger unlimited kill shots during this turn. Ooh. Are the, there still bots in at least half of all casual matches? Stopped playing last cement Smith's masses because of all the insane bots. Yeah, I mean, eh, it has a lot of bots, but also like they just, there's very little has been done to kind of improve the game's experience in, in my opinion. I really feel like um, they should have added a game mode that kind of corralled some of its better features. Like, I understand that 
you know, I, I enjoy collecting weapons that uh, give me different features and different uh, kind of abilities in TF2. But I think that the game is so like, I don't know. There's so many abilities that it's hard to balance the game. So I think what happens is they add a new ability and they're like, well, this can't be too powerful. So they basically make it very tepid and lukewarm. And it's it kind of holds the game back from like changing dramatically. And I think that they should like, you know, in order for the game to actually become like to, to evolve, they should have added like a new game mode that's like, you know, uh, I don't know, new world tech or something. I don't know. It's just like here, here is like a lot of the same um, abilities. You know, the, these things do the same thing, except they're a bit more uh, dramatic in their effect. Like I'll give you an I'll give you an example. I was playing pyro a lot because there was like a pyro kind of like. Um, how do you put it? There is this, like missions you could ac accomplish and get items for pyro. Um, and I, you know, so they give me like, oh, the gasoline can. I get the gas can. If you use the gas can, then it drenches players in gas and they take more damage from fire. But I don't ever really get to take advantage of that because, first of all, the range is very small uh, in terms of like how much area it douses and also uh it's very difficult to get to that area without dying like if you want to use it effectively you're going to want to hit as many players as possible right except now they're all doused with gas and you're trying to get in there with your very like short ranged pyro weapon unless you have a long range pyro re weapon right so I, I just think it for it to be a bit more game changing it's like give it a bigger area and like i don't know make it make it a bit more dramatic because a lot of the new abilities and new mechanics they add just feel so lukewarm that you never really want to use them i could be alone in this thought of course my goodness how's that even possible whoever she is she's gotten her dirty witch claws on some sort of power takes some great technical prowess to manage that what she's done i'd say Mixing people's parts like that, no wonder they're all bug nuts insane. We should head back to Taps and see if she's heard anything about more of this Techromancer. Valve, Valve abandoned TF2. Their last actual update was in 2016. Jungle Inferno. They haven't added new weapons or even balanced much since then. No update. Lots of bots. You're right about that too. The Dragon's Breath for Pyro was neutered into the ground to make sure that the meta didn't change. They haven't even attempted anything since then. If it was developed to this day, we would have TF2 Battle Royale or something even more cursed. I don't know if I agree with that. This is like a big old space tractor, isn't it? I used to drive one of those all the time back at the farm. Maybe I should pilot the ship for a while, so y'all can take it easy. It takes years to learn how to pilot a ship like this, Sally. Maybe later then. Uh, the Royal Space Force is supposed to keep the law out of here. Why are we doing their work? They should have handled these scrappers long ago instead of riding our tailwind. Now they have their drivers, uh, divers out here, wasting time drilling up the place. Better to clean up for them than after them, don't you find? Avansky has been called bad names in life, but tried to see good in all. Scrappers are making this hard. Taking on Royal Space Force, that is good. Using powers to raise dead parts is pure evil. This explains how they got their volunteers. Steambot needs the freedom to choose their own parts as they grow, to create their own personality. Just slapping together new beings from various parts of Cowbots. Mixing already settled personalities can only lead to insanity. Interesting. I interesting deeper meaning added to this uh, game. I, I, I like it. Okay, so is that unlocked? Back to Lola's it is, ma'am. Do you know if the gun shop gets new guns? Or if there are new gun shops I have to get to? 
This one is unlocked. What do you mean? Requires 20 to pass? It should be... Should be good? Oh, there we go. Good riddance. The last thing we need out here is more gun rattling royalists. Okay. And then this one over here should be unlocked as well. Old Groom Lawn is a pure pride for its owner. Good thing we've made mowed down all those scrappers. Let's have a look at uh, see if the weapons have changed. Um, if it was developed, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, like honestly, I wouldn't even be against a uh, TF2 battle royale, um, but like it, it would require like actual game-changing weapons and stuff. I, these look like all of the same to me. So I'm good. Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna end Steam World Heist here. I love that Monster Train lets you upgrade your cards, attach up effects to them. That is for me one simple way of increasing the re replayability. What's your opinion on that? I love Monster Train. Monster Train is fantastic. My favorite thing about Monster Train is how it like you like. Never mind just being able to upgrade cards. The fact that there's like multiple different play styles and you start by mixing two of them whenever you play a game, the the fact that the game like encourages you to try every play style basically is really interesting. It it kind of forces you to think outside the box almost every single time you play it. I love all of the different races. They're all really interesting. Like they're all completely different ways of playing that game. But they're all very compelling. That's a really difficult thing to do. <laughs> Monster Train is like... I would I would honestly rank it above Slay the Spire. That's completely subjective. But for me, I enjoyed it more than Slay the Spire. I probably have more hours in it 